In today's Bitcoin news, I'm going to be sharing with you some warning signs pointing to a $3,000 retest of the Bitcoin price. There's some very important conditions we're going to be covering published here by the magic poop cannon himself. And in today's show, we'll also be talking about a key Bitcoin confirmation pointed out by veteran crypto trader as Bitcoin hits extreme fear in the markets. We'll also be taking a look at the Bitcoin price action as Bitcoin is approaching its biggest weekly price loss of 2019. Where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? We'll be dissecting this and so much more in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every day. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest crypto news. Welcome to today's show. Before we dive right into these warning signs pointing to a $3,000 Bitcoin price retest, I just want to remind you about five coins to five million, a free cryptocurrency investment event with the number one most trusted person in cryptocurrency. That's Tika Tuari. If you missed it live, you can still catch the replay for a limited time. There's a link right below this video in the description. Be sure to check it out. He shares his number one altcoin pick of 2019. The last time he shared his number one pick, it soared 1800% in just like nine weeks. So if you like those sorts of gains, be sure to check it out. There's a link right below this video in the description. All right, let's get right into it. The Magic Poop Cannon published this graph on September 25th on TradingView. I also included a link right below this video in the description so you can check it out for yourself. It says warning signs point to a $3,000 retest, important conditions inside. Let's dissect this. Okay, so here's what he had to say. Well, if you followed me for a while, you may remember a notorious Bitcoin chart I published on May 27th called Bitcoin is Linear, and this is a bear market rally. In that analysis, I showed a glimpse of why I believe that Bitcoin moves in a remarkably linear fashion that most people have not discovered. In that analysis, I showed that I thought that Bitcoin would be around 3,000 by October 9th or somewhere near then if it continued to move in its historically linear pattern. If you would like to see that analysis, it's linked right below this video in the description. In addition to the linear nature of Bitcoin, there are several other danger signs that point to a potential return to the $3,000 range. As I've said on many occasions, Bitcoin never retested the rising long arc in blue in the graph after forming a bear market bottom in December of 2018. You can see that every single time Bitcoin reached the top of the arc, it always retracted to the bottom before making a new high. That happened in 2011, 2013 through 2015, and now it may be happening yet again as Bitcoin has not touched the bottom of the rising arc since it touched the top in 2017. If history is any indication, Bitcoin should touch the bottom of the arc again before making a new all-time high. Right now, that's in the $3,000 range, the same area that the linear nature of Bitcoin projects price to return to in its future. What do you think? Do you think there is a possibility that Bitcoin returns to retesting the $3,000 level? I'd love to know your thoughts right down below in the comments. Here's my personal thoughts. I think it's very unlikely for Bitcoin to retest 3K, but it could happen. It's a scenario which could definitely play out. Is it likely to happen? I don't think so. I, I hope it don't, but you never know because Bitcoin does what Bitcoin does when Bitcoin wants to do it. You know what I mean? And let's not also forget the infamous Bitcoin having is around the corner, but sometimes in order for Bitcoin to reach new all-time highs, we need to see a massive dump or reconsolidation or whatever you want to call it before it springs back, you know, trekking onto new all-time highs. So it kind of is what it is. He also went on to say, additionally, we have the NVT, the great, beautiful, wonderful NVT. NVT. People say it isn't accurate anymore, but it looks pretty damn accurate to me. When we compare NVT sell signals to the price chart, you can see that each NVT sell signal occurred at an exact peak in the market, followed by a 70% or greater fall four to five times. In April of 2013, the NVT sell signal yielded a 75% fall. In November 2013, the NVT sell signal resulted in a 70% fall. In July of 2014, the NVT sell signal resulted in a 74% fall. In December 
December of 2017, the NVT resulted in a 70% fall. That was immediately followed by another NVT sell signal, which was actually weak, only yielding a 52% fall. I believe that the week one in November of 2018 was only weak because it occurred on the heels of a 70% fall just before that. This time is very different. Bitcoin rallied 300% this year, and there is plenty of room for a downside correction. When we look to see where a 75% fall from the recent high would put us, it is exactly on the bottom of the rising arc in the $3,000 range. So there are many long-term signals that are pointing to a potential fall to $3,000, possibly in the very near future. But before we get too worried about that, let's assess the health of this bull run compared to the other bull runs in Bitcoin's history. In 2012, when Bitcoin broke above the 21-week MA, it never closed below that moving average. There were some slight dips below it, but never a decisive close below on a weekly basis. However, in 2013, there was a dip below the 21-week moving average, and Bitcoin actually pushed up into that moving average for months before finally breaking back above it. So it didn't deviate far from the 21-week, although it did break below it. Then in 2015, when Bitcoin broke above the 21-week moving average, it basically held it through the entire first half of the bull market. Looking at today's action, it's pretty clear that Bitcoin has broken below the 21-week moving average in a decisive way. However, the week is not over yet. So we don't know if the weekly candle is going to close above or below the 21-week MA. For me, that is a very important line in the sand for the bull market. While we are below the 21-week MA, my outlook is becoming increasingly negative. However, if Bitcoin holds above the 21-week, I would chalk this breakdown up to a downside fake out. Overall, there are many powerful signs that point to a return to the 3K zone for Bitcoin. On the flip side, the 21-week MA has been breached, but we haven't confirmed a close below it. Regardless, there are more powerful indicators pointing to much lower prices for Bitcoin. If Bitcoin remains below the 21-week MA and continues to head lower, I think a test of 3,000 will be extremely likely. Once again, I included this resource link right below this video in the description. Then he ended with this comment saying, remember to consider the conditions of the analysis. If Bitcoin recovers above the 21-week MA, that changes the outlook from bearish to bullish. The 21-week MA is the line in the sand for me, and we are currently below it. Now for our next story of the day, veteran crypto trader points to key Bitcoin confirmation as Bitcoin signal hits extreme fear. Prominent crypto analyst Peter Brandt says we'll soon find out if Bitcoin's fourth long-term parabolic bull phase is intact. Brandt and fellow analyst Mike Cotillo point out that Bitcoin has a history of suffering extremely sharp crashes in the midst of overall bull cycles. Until Bitcoin's upward trend is reconfirmed, Brandt says he plans to sit on the sidelines. Here's an actual tweet. He wrote, in each case, the dominant uptrend was reconfirmed. I will wait for such an event before re-employing capital. This way, I sidestep the 80 percenters. And then Mike responded with, I would have to say, Peter, probably one of the most rewarding things I have loved observing in your trading execution is your Bayesian framework developing live. I hope I pronounced that correct. Now taking a look at this tweet that Peter Brandt responded to from Mike Cotillo. He wrote, not uncommon for Bitcoin to have these type of 40% corrections in a bull on its way to an all-time high. Crypto traders at large are extremely fearful that Bitcoin is poised to continue its dramatic downward spiral. According to the Fear and Greed Index, the needles now locked at the 24 in the extreme fear zone. The index analyzes market volatility, social media, and surveys to track the overall sentiment among crypto traders. Now taking a look at their actual website, I included it in the description right below this video. Save this. It's an excellent resource on indicators when the market is in extreme fear, fear or greed, and it breaks it all down and it's actually pretty awesome resource. Crypto analyst Scott Melker says $7,440 is now the key number to watch. If Bitcoin can stay above that number in the short term, he believes a significant upward movement is likely. Here's what he went on to say. $7,440 is an important level for me. Key support and any price action above this would result in significant hidden bullish divergence with the RSI on this time frame. We'll be watching this area if we continue down. But not all analysts are as optimistic. This guy, Josh, says Bitcoin is now facing a possible retest of previous support from back in April, mapping out a potential drop just below 5K, a level that BTC briefly paused at before beginning its parabolic rally to just over $14,000 earlier this year. 
And he went on to tweet this over at Twitter, now a possibility, which is interesting considering this is in alignment with what the magic poop cannon had to share. Now taking a look at the overall cryptocurrency market, you can see Bitcoin is in the red, down 0.98% for the day, trading at $8,067. Ethereum in the green, trading at $166, up 0.67% for the day. EOS up 0.61% trading at $2.78. Miss Litecoin up 0.11% for the day, trading at $55.07. XRP in the red down 0.41%, trading at $0.24. Cents. BNB coin down 3.09%, trading at $15.19. So we have a good mixture. Some coins are up today. Some coins are down. Kind of a bearish sentiment overall. And we're going to be checking out the uh, BitMEX margins here in a moment. But before we do that, I want to share with you Bitcoin approaching its biggest weekly price loss and do some Bitcoin price action for you. Bitcoin is on track to post its biggest weekly loss of 2019, having found acceptance below the key support for the first time in nearly six months. Bitcoin by market value is currently trading at roughly $8,000, representing a 20% drop from this week's opening price of $10,022. That's the biggest weekly loss of of 2019, assuming prices remain at similar levels until Sunday's close. And taking a look at this graph, we can see the Bitcoin weekly performance of 2019. You'll notice back in January, in the second week, there was a 13% drop. Then in the first week of June was a 12% drop. Then the second week of July, there was 11% drop. Then in the fourth week of July, there was a 10% drop. Then in the second week of August, there was a 5% drop, followed by what we just experienced this week with a 20% dump. The latest two-figure drop, though, indicates the bull market from April's low near 4,000 has ended and the sellers have regained control. It's worth mentioning that the cryptocurrency has found acceptance below the 200-day MA for the first time since April 2nd. The breakdown of the long-term support has further confirmed a bullish to bearish trend change. The average is currently located at $8,352. All in all, a corrective bounce, if any, over the weekend will likely be short-lived and the cryptocurrency would close below 8000 719 on Sunday, confirming the biggest weekly loss of the year. Bitcoin has dived out of a narrowing price on the weekly chart, confirming a bearish reversal. The 14-week RSI has dipped below 50 for the first time since the end of March. A reading below 50 indicates bearish conditions. The MACD histogram is producing deeper bars below the zero line, also indicating a strengthening of bearish momentum, as we can see here in the four-hour and daily charts. On the four-hour chart, the RSI has produced higher lows, indicating scope for a corrective bounce. Further, the 14-day RSI is reporting oversold conditions with a sub-50 print, hence a minor bounce possibly to levels above the 200-day MA at 8,352 cannot be ruled out. The daily chart, however, is biased bearish. For instance, the MACD is indicating strong bearish momentum and the 5 to 10-day MAs are trending south. These averages currently located at 8,553 and 9,337 could offer strong resistance. Recovery rallies, if any, could be reversed, possibly leading to a deeper drop to 7,500. The bearish setup would be neutralized only if prices rise above $9,097. Now for the BitMEX margins, you can see the bears are currently dominating with about 31 million in superiority, leading the way with 50.37% shorts versus 49 0.63% longs. Now taking a look at the overall market cap. Right now it's $212 billion with about $67 billion in the past 24 hours with the Bitcoin dominance currently at 67.9%. Now taking a look at the biggest gainers for the day. Dragon Coins up 12%. Synthetics up 8%. Electronium up 6.8%. BitShares up 4.5%. And ABBC Coin up 2.9%. And now for the biggest Losers, Loom Network down 11%, Beam down 9.9%, Lambada down 8.58%, Rift Token down 8.32%, and Bytecoin down 8.31%. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, click the bell icon, receive notifications of the latest crypto news. And oh yeah, before I forget, don't forget you can still check out the replay to 5 coins to 5 million by Tika Tawari. This is where he picked 
picks five tiny cryptocurrencies, we call them altcoins, that he believes will turn a $500 investment into $5 million in as little as 10 months. Click the link right below this video to check it out. He also unveils his number one cryptocurrency pick of 2019. The last time he shared this information with his number one pick, it soared 1,800% in nine weeks. You can get this information for free by clicking the link right below this video in the description or visit the website tika.cryptonewsalerts.net. Tika, that's T-E-E-K-A dot crypto news alerts dot net and check it out. I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.